So what you can see on the screen is the actual performance of my range breakout expert advisor in US dollar Japanese yen from 2015 to the end of 2023 tested on 100% tick data and it's looking kind of good I think so why the frick is my FTMO performance looking like this? Hey, this is Rene, welcome back for another video on this channel. And today we want to solve this mystery and find the problem why the FTMO performance for the last two months is looking cheesy like this, while the back test is looking just crispy as hell. So what I want to do in this video is I want to have a look at this specific account where I trade this strategy in US dollar Japanese yen and in GBP US dollar for the last two months in an actual FTMO challenge. So this is a challenge, a real challenge that I paid for. It is a 100k challenge and it is right now down 1.5% even though I trade a strategy like this which is performing just brilliantly in the back test. So where the heck is my error here or is there even any error? So in a situation like this when you have a strategy that is working just super super fine in the test and then you decided to use it in a live account there are two things that can happen. The first thing is it's going great in a live account and this is what I wish for every single time and that, this is what I wish for you if you're trading on a live account for the first time or on a live challenge account. But the second option is that the performance is just not that great in your live or live challenge account and this is what I currently see here. So I was asking myself the question why? And the answer, or to find the answer, I do one of my most important tests that I do every time when I start trading a strategy in a live slash live challenge account. Because what I want to do is I want to compare the actual performance in these realistic, uh, under this realistic or in this realistic environment and compare it again to the strategy test for the same period and this is what I did. So if you want to see this, follow along this video until the end. Also if you want to learn more about automated trading in general, programming and my journey uh, overall, like I do many automated trading projects with live accounts or challenge accounts, make sure to subscribe and also hit the like if you appreciate the content. So let's have a look what's going on. So first of all let's have a look at my challenge account here. And uh, yeah, this is what I told you before. This is my challenge account and you, I can show you the whole history here. So started this in, um, uh, the first trade was the end of November, 13th November 2023. And you can see right now um, the last trade was um, the 31st um, January 2024. So it's more or less two months. And right now the account is down minus 1.5k. So 1,500 US dollar lost on this 100k challenge. So what I do here is I trade the range breakout expert advisor in GBP US dollar and um, US dollar Japanese yen. Let's have a look at the strategy for a second. So the strategy is really simple. We have a time range in the morning. For example, in USD Japanese yen, it's from midnight to 7.30 in the morning. And in this time period, we just take the highest price and the lowest price. And at 7.30 in the morning, we then place a buy stop order at the top of the range and a sell stop order at the lower end of the range. If one order is executed, pretty much nothing will happen. There is a stop loss at the other side of the range for every order. And then the position is just hold until 18 o'clock server time. So in the evening, the position is closed. That's it. There's no additional trade management. There's no trading stop, no nothing. It's just one trade. Either it will be good or bad. And from my experience, these simple strategies are the ones that are performing best. And actually, it is performing really great in the tester. So what the heck is going on in my challenge account? So to compare this, I took the history here from this account that I just showed you. I put it on my local PC edit it to my trade buddy trading journal here and you can see here if I reset 
all the filters or if I show you all the strategies here, you can see I have all the trades here in this trade buddy um, tool. So you can see this is the actual performance, which is the same as seen in the FTMO overview here. So you can see the FTMO account and by the end of last month was down like two point something and you can see the performance here and it's this exact same performance that I have here in my trade body tool that I use to analyze my trading. Also, if you're interested in this tool, you can get it for, get it for free. Absolutely free, there are no conditions. Check out the link in the video description. So what I do here is, I have the performance and what I did next is I took the performance, let's say for example, only for USD Japanese Yen in the period that I traded it in the FTMO challenge account. And this was the actual performance of the USD Japanese Yen trading the strategy range breakout expert advisor with my expert advisor. So this is the FTMO performance. So I then went ahead and took my testing environment here that was my main um, yeah the, the main tool that I used to decide that I want to use the strategy and I did the same test again for USD Japanese yen for the same period so I went 2023 11th and I think when was the first trade let me check this again first trade was on the 30th of November so I went here 30th November 2023 until um, I think it was end of January. This is the data that I have here. Yes, and this is the data where I have actual 100% tick data in my testing environment. Oh, I think I have to go to 31. No, I have to go. Yeah, let me just test this. And then I can also add the visual mode and then I do this test. So the same test for the exact same period that I traded this strategy in the actual FTMO challenge. So you can see we're starting on the 13th November 2023 and now all the trades are simulated again in the strategy tester with the historical data. So why do I do this test? And yeah, you can see here, I mean, this is just executing the trades automatically and we do not have to watch this, of course, it's just a test on historical data. So let me speed this up a little bit. Mm. Wait, let me go here and let me make this window smaller to speed up the test. So why do I do this test? What I want to see is that the testing results in this period are really similar to the actual live or FTMO challenge trades. Because if there is a difference between these two scenarios, it means that my test is not really worth it. It's not really reliable. I mean, don't get me wrong. Strategy backtests in the meter trader are never 100% reliable. They do not can, they, they cannot, cannot give you an idea of the future or cannot predict the future. But still, I want to see that if I make my decision based on a backtest, I want to see that at least these backtest, uh, best backtest conditions are kind of realistic and really similar to the actual performance in the FTMO or live account. So let me just wait until this is finished. And then we can go and get the trade buddy tool again here. And let me move this maybe to the upper side so we just have a look at the performance because this is what we want to perform, uh, compare. And here at the upper end, I will now filter in the trade body just for the trades of the USD Japanese yen. So if I filter this and it was already filtered, we can now compare this performance. And you can see just from looking at the graph, it's looking really similar. And this is so, so good to know because it tells me that the work that I did before I started the challenge, it was worth it. The test is showing actually really similar um, results compared to the performance in the FTMO account. So let's also have a look at the key figures here. So if we are comparing these values, we can see the test had um, 54 trades. And no, the test had, wait, am I testing to the right day here. Oh no, I need one more day here, I think. I'm just testing to 29th of January. 
So I can only filter the trades here from the FTM all account until the 29th. So let me take one more day away from here. So now we have the same period, the same two months in the tester on the lower end and in the actual challenge on the upper side. So now we can really make the comparison. So let's have a look at some key figures here now. So the key figures show that in the actual challenge, we had 52 trades in the tester in the same period, we had 53 trades. So one trade more in the tester, but that's not like super, super bad, I would say. Then what is really, really interesting is that in the tester, we had 1.7K profit and in the actual FTMO challenge, we had 2.5K. So this is such a good news for me because the FTMO challenge, like the real conditions, were able to perform actually better than my test. So the test that I showed to you before for the last eight years was kind of realistic. Of course, never 100%, never a prediction for the future, but it's still giving me a good feeling that these results are really similar. Also, have a look at like the short positions one, exactly the same. The long positions one, exactly the same, except that we had one more trade in the tester. Then um, like the largest profit trade, really similar, just by um, 80 US dollar off, but it's not like crazy off. The largest loss trade was in, 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 in the tester 690 US dollar, in the live account 780. So still, I mean, it was bigger in the, in the FTMO account, maybe because of slippage, but it's not like super different. So this is for... Um, this is for USD Japanese Yen and it's giving me a really, really good feeling and it's making me confident again that this challenge can be ended positive. So let's not forget about the second market and this is actually the one that is giving me a little bit of headache because GBP US dollar is not performing good in the FTMO account. So you can see it here on the upper side, this is the FTMO account. So I made the same test again for GBP US dollar on 100% tick data with the same expert advisor and with the exact same times that I use here in the FTMO challenge. So let me make this test quickly for um, GBP US dollar and then we also want to compare this performance in the tester to the performance in the uh, challenge account. And you can see, yeah, it's just simulating the trades on historical data. Let me fast forward this again so we will see the result. And if this is again similar, then the last thing to do is to test the GBPUS dollar range breakout EA in the test again from 20, 2015 to the end of 2023 to then verify again that in like on, on average, over a long period of time, the strategy should be profitable. And this is what I do. Again, I just do this for myself to just compare the actual live trading or FTMO performance to the tester. So it gives me a good feeling. I know that if the results are similar and if I'm, for example, in a drawdown, um, like right now, it still gives me a good feeling and the feeling that I did all the preparation that I was able to make um, in, in preparation for trading the challenge and this, that the current results are just a temporary effect, but on the long run, it should be profitable. So comparing the graph again, we can see the graph is looking really similar. We have like, yeah, it's just perfectly aligned here overall. So let's also have a look at the key figures here and we can see this is again really similar and it's giving me such a good Feeling. Actually, we had some more trades in the live account. Let me check this. Um, but the dates should be correct, right? Yeah, 29th. I don't know why we have some more FTMO trades compared to the tester, but let's just have a look at the results. And we can see that um, the results on the FTMO account, yeah, they were a little bit worse actually compared to the testing result because uh, maybe because we had some more trades in the actual FTMO challenge. Let's have a look at the lost trades, um, 43. And in the tester, we had only... Um, uh, 34 in the in the in the challenge and in the tester we had only 30 losing trades. So yes, we saw some more losing trades in the FTMO and also the losses. Ah, okay, this is not as good as the comparison of USD Japanese. Yeah, so the losses are kind of higher by 1.4k. Um, 
like here the upper number in the in the challenge compared to the tester but still it's not like completely different and what I like to see that is that the graph is looking really similar and this is definitely the case and yeah so this um, this kind of means that we are on a good track I would say with this overall FTMO challenge and I'm still optimistic that we can end this challenge positively maybe the current drawdown is just a temporary effect so as promised the last thing i will do here is to get me some more confidence is to, is to do another long-term backtest on gbp us dollar so we saw the long-term backtest result of usd japanese yen in the beginning of this video already now we will also have another look at the long-term backtesting results of gbp us dollar just to know that on average, not looking at one or two months, but looking at eight years on average, the strategy should be profitable. And I mean, of course, everything can change in the future, but doing the best possible preparation with tests, with a good um, coding process and everything is all we, can, all we can do in preparation for life or challenge trading. So this is what I did. So now enjoy the performance. I'm out for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think and I always appreciate the thumbs up on the video if you like it. See you next time. Bye bye.